In addition to rating and labeling and organizing your files, Adobe Bridge is a really good software application to use to download images from your digital camera. And so I'm going to go through the steps, but um, I don't have a digital camera attached to my computer and it's not a requirement for this class. So you don't have to do this, but I want to make you aware of it in case you want to. So when you do your, there's 11 projects in this class, when you do your 11 projects, you'll always have the option to use stock images that I provide you, copyright free images that are licensed for students, or, and I would encourage you, you can take your own photographs and use them. So the steps that you would use to import photos from your digital camera through Bridge are to attach the digital camera and or images to your computer in some way. And I say that because it could be, um, it could be a USB attachment, it could be a FireWire port, it could be an SD card, it's constantly changing. So you need to connect it in some way. Then you need to launch Bridge and select the Get Photos from Camera button in the top of the Bridge user interface and I'll show you that in the next slide. A prompt may appear asking if you would like to always use Bridge to download images from your camera and that's up to you. I would recommend yes. Um, it would help uh, when you are, are downloading instead of default into maybe the photos on a Mac which which is not what you want to use if you're a graphic artist um, it will help you kind of push you in that direction number four work your way from the top of the dialog box to the bottom making your personal decisions along the way again I'll show you that when, when I show you the screenshots and then when you're done if you select the get media option the images you selected to import will be moved from the camera to your computer in the specific location that you've chosen um, note, photographers often use Light bridge, um, sorry, Lightroom instead of Bridge, and that is perfectly okay. I'm not telling you by all means you must use Bridge, but it is a good idea to have a standardization to the way that you do this. And if you're a graphic artist, I'd recommend using Bridge to download your images from the digital camera. So the steps that you want to follow are to plug in or connect your device in some sort of way, whether it's an SD card or cable. And then there's a little icon on the top of your bridge window. And if you hover over this, it's the get photos from camera. There'll be a prompt that will appear and you can tell it to not show up again. And you can choose to either yes or no, either make this a default or not. And that's person, it's a personal decision. It's completely up to you. What's important is that when you are importing the pictures, you need to make a decision and you'll be able to make this decision every time you import the pictures. And so you're going to get the photos and you'll hit the drop down menu from and you'll choose where they're coming from because you've connected some sort of device to your computer. You can browse or choose a location and so you can um, put them in a specific folder. Make sure that you know where that folder is. You can create subfolders and you can do different things and then I would recommend um, telling it to open Adobe Bridge and once you're done you can hit get media and it will import all the pictures into your computer wherever you decided in this window they should be. In addition to launching uh, opening files from Bridge into Photoshop, you can launch them in a variety of applications. So Bridge is great for previewing and organizing images, but there is going to come a time when you will need to move from Bridge to another Adobe program like Adobe Photoshop to continue your editing. Um, there is going to come a time because you can't do the editing in Bridge. Bridge is simply for organization. And so I've already covered one of these options, but I'll cover the rest because they're covered in the textbook. Option one, if you would like to launch um, photos from Bridge to another uh, application, you can double click the thumbnail of the file that you want to open. It will launch the default application the file is intended to be edited in and the file will automatically open. There's no there's no set answer to this. If your, if your computer says that JPEG should be opened in the preview application, it will open it in preview. If your computer is set that JPEG should open in Photoshop, it will launch Photoshop. I don't like option one because I don't like the risk that. I want to know exactly where it's going to open. I don't want it to launch the wrong program and have to quit out of that and go back to Bridge and try it over again. Option two, you can select the thumbnail of the image that you want to open and you can choose control if you're on a PC or command and O if you're on a Mac um, or you can choose file open and it will also launch the default application the file is intended to be edited in and the file will automatically open. Step three and the one that I used in the video, um, the previous video and the one I like is you can right click the thumbnail and you can choose open with and then you can choose the application you want. And so the first couple times you use option one and option two and they open the wrong program, you have the ability on your computer to say, no, stop opening it in Illustrator. I want you to always open this type of file in Photoshop or, or whatever it happens to be. You can get rid of that, that error that keeps happening where it opens the wrong program. 
I just think it's easier to right click and choose open with, so that's my preferred method. So you can see that in this screenshot I've right clicked on the image, chosen open with, and then it shows me the possibilities. And in my case I'd probably want to open it in Photoshop because this is a Photoshop class, but I could open up an Illustrator or even in Acrobat if I wanted to open it in that. Bridge can perform a variety of tasks from renaming files and adding keywords to updating metadata and sorting and rating images.